Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial, and today we'll be creating a scene where you modify the color of a cube using Unity's UI system. It will consist of three sliders which control the R, G, and B properties of the cube's color. So let's get started. First, open up the scene provided in the description. It is not necessary for the scene to work, but if you want to match what I'm doing identically, it's recommended that you download it. A bit of info though, it contains a demo scene, which has a room that I've made in Blender, and the materials are made in Substance Designer, and it has some post-processing information as well. If you're using a version of Unity that is 2018.1 or above, you will need to install the Substance and Unity plugin for the Asset Store. You can download all the mentioned items in the description. So first, create a material called Cube. Check the emission box and change the color to match the albedo color. Drag it onto the cube and change the material. Create a UI canvas and set the UI scale mode to scale with screen size. Then switching to your 2D view, create a panel and decrease the size so it is in the bottom left hand corner. Set the anchor to the bottom left hand corner as well to allow multiple screen sizes to use this scene. Create a text element as a child to the panel and rename the game object to title. Editing the text component, change the displayed text to say color. Then add a slider with the text element as a child. Set that to the left of the slider and make it say R. Try to center this as best as you can. Duplicate this object twice, changing the R, G, and B in the other two. Now that the scene's all set up, now we can begin the coding. On the canvas, create a C -sharp script called Cube Color Modifier and open it in your preferred editor. First off, we'll add a line of code that adds Unity's UI library so that we can access UI components. Then we will create a public mesh renderer as a variable for the cube. This will give us a reference to the cube's material. Then we'll create three more variables, one for each slider. We'll call these red, green, and blue. I'll change the update function to a public void called onEdit. We'll call this from each slider when the value is edited. This saves on CPU and GPU so it doesn't have to run every single frame. Create a local color variable in the onEdit function and set that to the mesh renderer's materials color property. For the R, G, and B properties of the color, set them to the value of the corresponding slider then set the materials color to the local color variable. Since Unity does not have a native modifier for adjusting emission color, we'll just use the function material.setColor. This accepts two values, a string and a color. The string will be underscore emission color. There are no spaces and be sure to capitalize every word. Alright, we're done with the coding part. Head back into Unity and assign the variables on the script to the objects. Then select every slider, add a function to the onValueChanged event trigger, and then drag the canvas onto the object variable. From the dropdown, select cube color modifier and then the onEdit function we created. Finally, you must select every slider and set the current value to 1. This is because by default the cube will be set to white, which means every slider would be at max value. And now we can hit play and we can see that everything's working. Thank you all for watching, I hope that you learned something. If you enjoyed this, give me a like and subscribe. I appreciate that very much. Also, if you have a question, leave a comment. I read every single one, so don't hesitate to ask me anything. And if you're feeling super generous and are interested in a shout out, support me on Patreon. Link for that will be down below as well. All the code as well as the completed project can be found in the description.